Hello everybody and today we're going to be checking out another data pack I've coded that is a substitute for a plugin. And basically, this is a permissions plugin. So what this does it is is it allows for players with ranks to be able to do certain commands. So if you were to say ban, want to ban somebody, you have to do this. So it uses slash trigger, which is an inbuilt command. So we have a bunch of commands right here, and these, if you have an operator, if you're if you're OP, uh, you can use every single command. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna trigger slash trigger whatever command you want to do. So I'm going to do kick, for example. I'm going to do set. Then what you're going to set it to is player ID. And your player ID is the number next to your name tag at the top of the screen. So, for example, 2. That will kick the alt account right there. So, log back in. Uh, logged back my alt account and you can pretty much do there are a lot of commands you can do now if you want to OP somebody don't use slash OP because that won't properly work with the um, commands so you're gonna do trigger OP set and then the player ID and if you DOP you can DOP somebody and then re-OP them. Now if you're opt, you don't you don't necessarily go have the admin rank, but you will have all the permissions. But if you're deopt, you'll be sent to the default rank. Alright, so to OP somebody, all you have to do is trigger OP set and then player ID. And then that will OP them. That won't give them the, the highest rank, but it will give them access to all commands. So then if you DOP, once again, DOP is set, then the player ID, it will DOP somebody and then set them to the lowest rank. Now, if I were to DOP myself, and you see the name tag, uh, you cannot, it does not actually DOP me. I don't understand why, but it can. It does not allow you to DOP yourself, but you can if I quickly switch to my alt, or uh, you can't. You can no longer use that command. So, and once again, I can OP the other one, and then. Yeah, so there are a few custom commands that are that I have coded. One of them is broadcast. So basically, what this does, it sends a message to the entire server. All you have to do is write down um, a message on the sign, on this, on a sign, and then just shift on top of it and you'll get a message and once again if I switch over to the alt you also get the message so another one is crash which is basically fake sending a fake internal exception internal exception Java to IO blah 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 and there you go now you can ban people so what you're gonna do Ban, set, and the player ID. And um, if you previously have had a reason, it will automatically ban them, but usually that doesn't happen. So we're gonna. I was. Oh, that's why. And normally, you see that. You see a message. You permanently. The. If you don't silent ban, which is trigger silent ban. It will give a server alert that you someone has been permanently banned. 
and then once again now we can input it and let's go for other you are banned from this server and you have your ban message you have been banned for other reasons this ban is permanent and pardon business so now I can join back in so now it's time to go over specific perms plus plus commands and uh, to do this you're gonna have to do two commands and it's either demote or promote so since he's already low since I'm already at the lowest on the other account set you want to promote player ID set and then whatever that is so two and then slash trigger perms plus plus promote and it will promote him you can do that again now you cannot I repeat you cannot actually demote people who are your own rank or above your rank so I it gives you that error message you cannot demote you do you don't have the permissions to do so if you believe blah 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 and also I cannot demote myself which is good I guess yeah can't demote myself but I can't eat also I can also not pr promote so that is just allowing that just ensures that people can't abuse their power and if you are an operator you can just set what rank you are by using order one is default two is moderator and three is admin and I will probably go over have a tutorial for adding ranks and permissions later on um now let's put them at mod and we're gonna DOP oh yeah I forgot you can't DOP yourself and then we're gonna make him a mod so he only has a specific permission and then and of course I can't DOP so Uh, if you really want to DOP yourself, you can just set yourself to default and then DOP because basically what the DOP does is it removes all your ranks, all, all your uh, permission nodes, and removes your operator. So, as a mod, you can do multiple things. You can ban, you can crash because that's just part of being able to kick. You can demote, promote and kick kill uh i don't know why it's there sometimes it just lingers and you can promote people and demote people so you cannot p promote people who are your own rank but you can promote people who are below you and you also have the effect command which is quite a big thing but if we go to permissions.init, which is where I, where you initialize all the commands, you can right here see all the commands. So we're just going to get jump boost slash effect set eight. Eight is the effect ID. You can't do this to other players. And then you're going to pick the level, level two, jump boost two, boing, boing, jump. And I just killed myself, which is nice. So you can use that 
and it gives you a custom message each time. I wonder yeah it won't it won't OP so it's it's very useful and I will be releasing this and I will continue to update this and if you are wondering what the sidebar is that's just some testing I was doing and uh, if you enjoyed do consider subscribing and liking the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.